For a really long time, it has been thought there might be a connection between multiple sclerosis and thyroid disorders. There was a study that found that women with MS were three times more likely to develop hypothyroidism than women without MS. As MS patients, we are consumed with worrying about losing our myelin. But there are connections that I didn't see at first. I made the fortunate accident of stumbling across them. Biggest being iodine. Hey, it's Dave. Iodine is a naturally occurring chemical, but what makes iodine so important is that it is needed for the production of the thyroid hormone. And myelination is a thyroid hormone dependent process. So for multiple sclerosis, myelin can, cannot be recovered without it. L. Bloom asked me about my thoughts about two different forms of iodine, nascent iodine and the one I take, Lugo's iodine solution. Nascent iodine is a liquid that is used as an oral supplement of iodine, whereas glucose is also an oral supplement of iodine that in a solution of potassium iodide and iodine in water. The key difference between the, the two different forms of iodine, nascent iodine and glucose iodine, is that nascent iodine has a high efficiency when absorbed, whereas local iodine shows lower efficiency since the iodine is bound to the mineral salt potassium. But both forms are very effective at exactly what we want to achieve, myelin creation. So to say one th one is better than the other is debatable. Glucose iodine is less absorbent than nascent. So if I was to take nascent, I would take two drops daily rather than the four drops of glucose iodine solution. But the two ounce bottle of Lugos of iodine solution I take cost me $22 and it lasts me about 10 months. Just because one is bound to potassium and the other one bound to magnesium doesn't make one safer than the other. But I'm warning you to get hung up on that small difference is not seeing the big picture. The end result of both types is the production of thyroid hormone. And that thyroid hormone has been shown to enhance remyelination in chronic demyelinating inflammatory disease, which multiple sclerosis is the poster child. After really looking into it, after doing a lot of research, the research kind of shows that, and it kind of comes across that iodine is all you need. But you know and I know for certain that it's just not the case. I made the conscious effort over the years to combine Lugo's iodine with the four essential elements key is to make all five part of your life. I understand. The struggle is real. 
I fought through all the pain. I fought through the fatigue, through the dis all the disability. Now I look back <laughs> and I am so proud of myself. More and more, MS is gone. It's just one big dr bad dream now. So, have you bought a bottle of either kind of iodine yet? Have you seen any benefits? When you do, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.